Hey Pisces, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. I hope you are all staying safe out there. Let's get into this. This is going to be your weekly reading, the 22nd of March to the 31st. I know it's more like 10 days, but we're just going to go right on to the end of the month since it's only a couple more days, a few more days. All right, so spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for this Pisces reading, for anyone with Pisces placements or anyone else who's guided here to see this reading on YouTube, please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most. March 22nd to the 31st, 2020, or whenever they are guided here to watch it and resonate with it. Okay, guys, we're using the Healing Light Tarot here. And we're going to be clarifying with modern spellcasters, okay? So keep that in mind. All right. What do we need to know for this Pisces reading? What's most important? He fell out awful fast. Oh, wow. Unhappy family situation. All right. What else do we need to know for Pisces? Wow. Absolutely. My gosh. This is all about family. All right. What else, Pisces? What else? Okay, what else? All right. All right, it's getting better. It's getting better. All right, what else do we need to know for Pisces, please? Pisces. Okay, so if you're a Pisces lady, you're not very happy right now. We got the Empress in reverse, unless you're dealing with someone else, okay, that's not very happy right now. We also got the King of Pentacles right in the center of your reading. If you're a Pisces man, you look amazing. All right, King of Pentacles is in the upright. Empress is in reverse. Right next to the Empress reverse, we have this crazy magician, which I really love. This magician is multitasking. Look at it. It's crazy, but in a cool way. All right, so somebody's definitely manifesting in what they want. They've got all the tools to do it, and they are working it, baby. All right, we got the Ace of Wands reversed. So there's a new beginning on the horizon. It's just not here yet. And maybe that's why the Empress is so upset. She's like, where the hell is my new beginning? Because look at all this family drama. Four of Wands, it's in the reverse. Ten of Cups, it came out in the reverse. Six of Cups came out in the reverse. Ten of Pentacles came out in the reverse. Six of Wands is on the other side of the King of Pentacles, though. So that's better. All right, so let's talk about this. This is like every home and family card you could get, you got. The Four of Wands reverse, the Ten of Cups reverse, the Six of Cups reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles reverse. I've never seen that happen before. All right, so let's get into what's been going on here. Um, I mean, they were your first four cards out the gate here. All right. I want to go back and see what's been going down. There's been some fighting. Scorpio had the same thing. Different deck, but he had. they had um, the Five of Wands in the reverse. Coming out of some kind of fighting, possibly other people getting involved, possibly drama, drama, drama. All right, this looks like a bunch of family drama to me. We have the eight, Ace of Swords in the reverse. There's been a lack of clarity. There could have been lies. Very much like the Scorpio reading. So if you guys are involved with the Scorpio, check out the Scorpio reading. Or if you have it in your chart somewhere. We also have the Sun. So, is clarity being gained over something that w there was no clarity on? It's very possible. We also have the Chariot reversed. So there's been some stuck energy. Now, I will say that Scorpio's reading was all about stuck energy. All right, you only have one card. They had Their whole reading was, yours is all family drama, and theirs was all stuck energy. All right, we have here the moon. Again, there's something going on where there's been some kind of inability to see clarity in a situation, which is going, I feel, to be cleared up. Or there's some kind of secrets that we're unaware of, okay? And that caused a lot of family fighting. Or secrets that we are aware of that caused a lot of family fighting. But this is not in the reverse, the moon. So there's still some lack of clarity or secrets as we come into the reading. 
I mean, I don't need to go over all this with you. All this is just some kind of unhappy family situation. All right, let's get into it. Some kind of victory and forward movement is going to happen, though, with the Six of Wands here. So let's get into it and see what... And somebody's manifesting that, like really doing what they can to pull in that victory and success. But like I said, if you're a lady and you're coming through as this Empress in reverse, you're not really happy. Um, if you're someone dealing with a reverse Empress, which could be any sign, any woman in a general reading can be the Empress. She's not happy. All right, like I said, if you're a man, you are taking up the center of this reading. If you are not this man, King of Pentacles, can be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo man, but doesn't have to be. This is usually the head of a family, a businessman. Um, this is usually the head of something. Um, this is somebody who's very grounded. If he's a father, he's a good father. If he's a businessman, he's a good businessman. He's good with finances. Uh, he is the center of your reading. So either you're dealing with him or you are him if you're a man. All right, let's get right into it. Like I said, we're going to go with from Healing Light Tarot to Modern Spellcasters. I'm feeling this both of these decks today. All right, Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good for this Pisces reading for March 22nd to the 31st, 2020, or whenever anyone is guided to watch this reading for Pisces, anyone else with Pisces placements, or anyone else who's guided to see this reading here on YouTube, please help me clarify the cards that we've already laid down here to get a very clear picture of what's going on and help me to deliver those messages as accurately as possible to the people that are going to be guided to watch this reading here on YouTube. Uh, the dates are March 22nd to the 31st, 2020, but could resonate at other times, guys, so keep that in mind. All right, let's do it. All right, first thing we want to look at is what the heck's going on here? Let's look at the Four of Wands reverse. Why is it here? Four of Wands, please. Pisces reading. Four of Wands reversed. Oh, yeah. We've got uh, the Knight of Swords here. So something moving forward quickly in a situation that has to do with home and family that's been uh, not very happy. All right. Let's talk about um, where it's not very happy. The Ten of Cups reversed. This is a lack of happiness going on. What's going on with the Ten of Cups reversed here? Pisces reading. Ten of Cups reverse, please. Yeah, lack of happiness. This is regret. This is sorrow. This is loss. This is feeling like we lost everything, but we really didn't because we still have something remaining here. All right, Five of Cups. All right, let's look at the Six of Cups reversed. Emperor reversed. So we have a toxic man here. I can see that's why the Empress is not very happy. Her Emperor is in reverse. This has to do with a toxic soulmate relationship. A toxic, well, it doesn't have to be. This could be a man who's upset about the family being turned upside down. Look at this. We have the Six of Cups reverse. This man could be equally upset about this family drama. Let's get one on the Emperor, emperor in reverse. Why is the Emperor in reverse, please? Oh, yeah. Rejection of some sort. Here we have the uh, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. There could be something I'm feeling strongly that some of you are having a problem with a child and a father. So there is an issue going on within the family. And now this could have been a past problem. It could be a current problem. It's going to be different for each of you. This feels very father-child. I want to come down here to the mother. Give me the Empress in reverse, please. Why is the Empress reversed? the world beautiful all right so we're going to graduate this cycle this is a cycle this empress wants this cycle to end she's sick and tired of it give me the ten of pentacles reverse please why is the ten of pentacles reversed here oh come on look at this in my hand four of wands again flipped over this four of wands is very much partnership like to me see how they're like a team it's in reverse. So definitely family related all the way around. Home and family, home and family. There's so many home and family cards here. This 
situation with this child and father has been draining to an entire family, I think. All right, let's go on the King of Pentacles here. Why is the King of Pentacles here, please? Center of the reading for Pisces. Why is King of Pentacles involved? Queen of Swords reversed. And we also have here the Temperance card. Something being balanced out. We have the Queen of Swords. She's in reverse. This woman has been through a whole lot. All right, so the Queen of Swords is usually someone who's been through a lot. We've got Temperance here and the King of Pentacles. So, now, I have to say, Queen of Swords sometimes is not a person, especially in reverse. She can be an energy of there's a lack of clarity in something. And we're trying to find that clarity and balance things out. I want to get another one because you had a lot of cards where there was a lack of clarity. All right. Can I have one card, please, on the Queen of Swords in the reverse? Queen of Swords in the reverse. Yep, she's getting untrapped. This person, or there's something coming out that's going to release some kind of information. I want one more. Queen of Swords reversed. Why is Queen of Swords reversed here with the King of Pentacles? Wow, yes, absolutely, the lovers. All right, listen. So, there was some kind of lack of clarity around a love situation, a family situation. I almost feel like this man, the King of Pentacles, has stepped in to get the Queen of Swords un untrapped here or to bring some sort of clarity into the situation to get someone out of their head and untrapped from a situation where they didn't even have all the information. Absolutely, this spells lack of clarity to me. Especially, this would have at one time been in the upright. This is somebody who doesn't know everything. They have been trapped in something. They haven't had all the information. I feel like this King of Pentacles has something to do with bringing in some kind of balance. See how Temperance is balancing things out? Balancing things out in some kind of relationship, partnership, something here. All right, let's look at the um, Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here, please? Six of Wands. Pisces reading. Oops, that's way too many. Just one or two. I like that the Ace of Cups was there, but that was way too many cards. Why is the Six of Wands here, please? Pisces reading. Pisces reading. Here we go. Ace of Wands in reverse. Again, you have it twice now. Here it is in the upright. It's in the reverse. There's a new beginning coming. There's going to be some kind of forward movement here. Maybe even a sort of a victory that's going to allow for the cycle to end and new beginnings to come in. It's coming. Tell me about the Magician, please. Why is the Magician here? It has to do with the partnership. It came out as a challenge. Whatever this union is, this partnership, I feel for most of you this is romantic or family related. It's been a challenge here. I want one more on the magician. One more on the magician, please. One more card, please. Magician. Magician. Pisces reading. Okay. High Priestess. All right. Yes, there's been secrets. We need one more. One more on the Magician with the High Priestess. Why is the Magician here? Whoa. That completely flipped around the Empress. Whoa. And she looks good. This Empress looks amazing. All right. So this Empress is, she's working it. She's working it. This is like almost magical. High Priestess, Magician, and Empress, right? This woman is working on the secrets from beyond. Working with the Akashic Records here. Trying to bring forth information on this um, partnership of some sort here. Something's going on here. Let me get... Um, yeah, and she just wants to end the cycle. She wants to graduate from it. Bring it to a close. Let's look about at this Ace of Wands reversed. Ace of Wands reversed, please. Ace 
Move into peace, baby. Move into peace. Somebody is getting away from this. They're going to go towards peace here. That's the new beginning that's coming in. Look at this. These say the same exact thing. Six of swords and ace of wands reversed. When this new beginning comes in, somebody's moving right towards peace. When this new beginning comes in, somebody's moving right towards victory. Two sixes, the six of swords and the six of wands. Excellent cards, both of them, both in the upright. Um, the thing is, the aces of wands are both in the reverse, so they're not here yet. It's coming. Like I said, we got somebody working on these secrets, manifesting some kind of clarity to come out in this situation, and I believe this person coming through as the high priestess and magician and the empress here, this work will get done. This, these secrets will come out. Whatever this is that has to do with some kind of, this can be a platonic relationship. It doesn't have to be love. Whatever it is, some kind of secrets are coming out. I feel like this, whoever the empress is, and I feel like it's you, Pisces ladies, or someone you're dealing with that could have Libra or, um, Taurus, possibly even Aries, could have anything in her. Listen, it's a general reading. This could be any woman that you see as the Empress, somebody who's very abundant, very beautiful, very um, high-vibing. This is somebody who works with the universe, works with spirit and angels and guides and God and whoever, whoever you believe in. This is somebody who's got a lot of magical power, like with the universe, um, I really feel as though somebody is working it, baby, working it, because they want this cycle over. They're upset that the cycle has not ended. Um, I feel like it could have been a very hard cycle to go through. We got the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck showing that this has been burdensome, too many burdens to bear, but they're about to end. When I see the Ten of Wands, we know soon somebody's going to dump those burdens. Let's go over this. There's been a lack of clarity in a situation, and we're hoping to get the sun to shine on this, whatever it is. I feel like there's been some kind of secrets, possibly some kind of lies. Something will be moving forward, or something was said in a family situation. All right? Um, we have unhappiness. We have regret. We have sorrow. We have loss. Could have been between a father and child having to do with family or the past. We have here, again, more drained family energy, family turned completely upside down. We have a king of pentacles who I feel is working on bringing clarity to a situation and balancing it out. We have um, a, some victory coming in and a new beginning, forward movement. We have a woman who is diligently working with the universe to get whatever this is in this partnership figured out, get the secrets to come out, whatever needs to be done here so that she can close a cycle that she's very upset has not completed yet. This is graduation day. We want this. We want to start a new cycle. No one wants to be stuck in an unhappy cycle. We do have a moment of peace coming. We have somebody who is going to be getting to a peaceful place after a very sad and trying time in a family situation, and a new beginning is coming in. All right, we do have someone carrying way too many burdens that need to be dropped. I want to go back up, though, before we go on and look at this father-child thing. Please give me more information on the Emperor reversed with the Page of Pentacles reversed and the Six of Cups reversed. More information. We need more clarity here. What is going on between this father-child from the past or in a family dynamic? Lack of happiness and betrayal. Absolutely there was betrayal in this family situation some kind of betrayal I feel like something was said here uh, there are definitely lies here and we have uh, an Aquarius could have been involved we have here unhappiness in the situation disappointment sadness like I said there's been betrayal here oh absolutely look bottom of the deck I want you guys to see we have the Hierophant reversed, and we have the Ten of Pentacles, another family card, just like the one we have here in reverse with the Four of Wands reversed. With this Hierophant reversed, this is never a good Hierophant. This is the devil here, and this is the moon. All right, so if you look closely, I don't know if you can see it, but the one in red has a devil tail, and the other one has a moon behind their back. 
This is secrets and lies coming out. Somebody told a lie, and it might have been this child, I'm sorry. It might have been this child. It turned an entire family upside down and caused hell for everyone. All right, now, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like the child is the one that did this. But, in some cases, maybe the father. All right, maybe. And don't kill the messenger. I'm just telling you what's coming through the strongest. This will be different for each of you. Flip it however it works for you. This was a uh, toxic situation, turned an entire family upside down. I feel like something was said, some kind of lie was told, uh, or someone spoke up about this in some way. Um, I want to get one card on the Page of Pentacles, just the Page of Pentacles in reverse here. Page of Pentacles reversed. The moon lies, yes. All right, there's some kind of lies going on between the people in this family. The moon and the six of pentacles. There was a lie told, and it could have had to do with the give and take in a relationship. It caused extreme stress. We have nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Reverse, look how stressed out this person is. I want to get uh, one on the moon and the page of pentacles. This child lied. When you have, okay, now don't kill the messenger because those of you that your child didn't lie or somebody's child didn't lie, please don't kill the messenger. But the moon is lies and we have the page of pentacles reversed. Okay, so some kind of lies were told here in this situation and it was complete betrayal for the father, I believe. Can I have one card please on the emperor reversed? It was not just complete betrayal for the emperor. It turned an entire family upside down. And keep in mind, we do have this... Um, we have other people involved, too. Did we? No. Okay, no. All right, we just have the empress here involved. I think the queen of swords was more of an energy. And the queen of swords has to do with lying as well. Okay? Um, so keep that in mind. When she's reversed. When she's reversed. I feel like somebody is getting out from under a lie that they were trapped in. There was somebody trapped in a lie that was told, I feel, by that child, and somebody's getting untrapped from it thanks to the King of Pentacles who has stepped in to assist, I feel, in the situation. I want to look at um, the Emperor. The Emperor in reverse because that was the father-child that came out together here. Where is it? Where is the Emperor reverse? emperor reversed please tell me about the emperor reversed here yes yeah, some communication was blocked give me more on the emperor reversed victory. Listen, something that might have been stuck or communication that was blocked is now victorious. This emperor, it's going to be discovered that that child lied about the emperor. Very unhappy family situation. Ten of cups in the reverse. Look, bottom of the deck, we got to look at this. Truth is coming out. Strength, somebody's pulling on their inner strength in an unhappy family situation. Emperor is going to be victorious in whatever lie was told about him from that child. Sorry, guys. And don't kill the messenger. If this isn't your story, click off. I don't want to hear it. My child didn't do that. Blah, blah, blah. It's not your story then. This is 100% victory for this emperor. <coughs> After something was said about him that was a lie. Child lied. If it's not your story, it's not your true story. I know people get very upset when these stories come through about kids. But we're not talking about your kid. If it wasn't your story, it wasn't your story. Check your other signs. All right. Now, for those of you that it was your story, know that the truth is coming out. There is going to be victory here in this situation. All right. For anyone that resonated with this reading, please tell us, angels, what do you want them to focus on, please? Wow, blank one. Give me another one, please. 
<coughs> another blank one. <laughs> Can I have, there's only two blank ones in here. We got both of them. One more, please. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I got sage going and it is at the end. All right. One more, please. What do you want anyone that resonated with this reading to focus on? All right, great. All right, listen, there was a purpose for this whole thing. This whole thing that somebody had to go through, whatever it was, there was a purpose for it. And you can see that it was like a part of our mission here, whatever it was. For you guys, whatever this mission was, there was a purpose for this. You got synthesis and beauty. So I feel like you're being told, go with the flow. Just go with it because things are going to work out beautifully for you. Give me one more, please. Communication. There's going to be some sort of communication that comes out in this situation. Which is really good because communication was blocked here. Queen of Swords. This, this is communication blocked. Now I know why the Queen of Swords was here. Communication was blocked. Absolutely, but this man is working on whatever this is to balance this out. I feel like he's helping someone in this situation. All right, guys, listen. Um, you got two blank ones there. I usually give my advice. This looks like a really you know, serious family matter that has turned her family upside down. The only thing I can think of giving you, usually I give advice when the blank ones come out. The only thing I can think of saying is, you know, we always can do the old forgiveness thing to release ourselves from the stress. It's really for us. So, and especially if it's someone's child, um, forgiveness. I mean, that's my best advice for you guys. Take it or leave it. Um, I know that some of you will not resonate with this. Please don't shout out nasty things at me. If it's the other way around, flip it. But I'm telling you, when I clarified the emperor, I got the six of wands. That's victory. So I feel, and when I got the child, I got the moon. That's secrets and lies. So I'm just being honest with you guys. For those of you that do resonate with this, please comment down below. Let me know that this is your reading. Uh, I feel like whoever this man was that was lied about, whether it's a father, whether it's another person, it's definitely turned a family upside down. Okay, guys, please comment. Please let me know. Don't comment negatively. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Please move on and check your other signs, your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or any other sign. My readings are for any placement in any, any one of my readings could resonate with anyone. You should watch them all and watch the story and see if it's yours. Okay, guys, have a great week. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this reading for those of you that resonated with it. And please let me know if you need a personal reading. All my information is right underneath this video in the description area. My prices are there. Uh, they're all considered donations to this channel and much appreciated to keep it going for you guys. Uh, the prices are there. My PayPal is there. Please let me know if you're in need. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.